Hey folks, we're out at the range and I have something new to talk about. This is the TP9 Elite Combat Model from Century Arms. Yes, these are Canic pistols that Century Arms brings in and offers directly to you. This looks familiar to you because this is the enhanced version of the original TP9 Elite. What makes the Elite special? The Elite is actually a smaller version or a slightly more compact version of the original TP9 series of pistols. Now what did Century do to this one? They went all kinds of crazy with this gun. They added an enhanced trigger. They partnered with Salient Arms. We've got an enhanced trigger. We've got an enhanced salient arms barrel. The barrel is threaded to accept a suppressor slash silencer slash gun muffler, which we will do a little bit later. Uh, we have an optic mount option uh, right here. It's cut out so that you can mount a red dot of your choice. There's four separate mounting plates for the various different red dots that are on the uh, market that come with the gun. This gu gun comes as an entire package. You get the pistol itself, then you get a 15 round mag that has a plus three adapter plate on the bottom, and then a standard 15 round mag. As you know, or as you should know, the larger versions hold a little bit more ammo. But these are this is a 15 and a 15 plus 3. Uh, you ha get a loading tool, all right. And the gun comes with a magwell, an aluminum magwell attached to it. Now I have big paws, so when I hold the gun, my bottom finger is pushing against the magwell. I decided I didn't need that, so I removed it. Maybe you like it. Go ahead, great, keep it. Uh, it comes with an extended mag release if that's what you want. Uh, I don't like extended mag releases, so I took it off and it's easy. It comes with a, uh, the gun comes with a little tool kit here. So with the tool kit, you have an Allen wrench, you can take that off and it's the same exact Allen nut for the magwell and for the extended mag release. Now this does have a dual sided uh, slide lock or slide release if that's what you want to do. It has a universal rail to add lights and lasers right there. Uh, it's a polymer, obviously it is a polymer frame, steel upper, steel slide, steel barrel, all that good stuff. Uh, from the factory, it comes with steel sights, it has a steel rear sight and a steel front sight with a fiber optic insert. Something unique about these guns, these guns had to pass a military spec dust and dirt test. They were in, they were put up for contract and what they did over there at Canic is they had to come up with a way to keep as much dirt and dust out of the gun as humanly possible, as mechanically possible. And if you look at the rear of the gun where you normally would see a cutout, you don't. And that's because they designed it a little bit different. They removed that hole that is normal on your basically your striker fired pistols, your normal striker fired pistols. So when you disassemble this gun, what you have to do, make sure that it's empty, point it in a safe direction, release the uh, tension off the firing pin, then you pull down on the release, you let it go forward about one inch, then you lift it up off of the gun. You don't slide it straight off like you do a normal gun or a normal striker fired gun and then to put it back together you just reverse the steps you set it back on pull it back and you're good to go oh and it also comes with an additional back strap if you want to change the back straps out there's a medium and a large so oh one other thing i forgot about this i had it sitting over here this gun comes with a holster this is a new style from Canic and Century. Uh, it has a uh, an automatic locking feature and in order to draw the gun you grasp it, you put your trigger finger right here and you pull that releases the lock and frees up the pistol. First time I've had my ha hands on this particular style of holster and I'm going to give it a try. So the Canic TP9 Elite Combat, all kinds of bonus features just for you.